What's going on guys? It's Denzel with Etc Pack Fitness and today I'm going to show you how to do deadlifts, specifically Romanian deadlifts or also known as RDLs. Okay, so this workout is a great, great, great workout to do, especially if you want to work on those glutes and your hamstrings, get the back of that leg looking real good, get that, get your glutes you know, up and lifted and, and stronger and rounder. Deadlifts, man, it's a way to go. It's one of my favorite workouts, even though leg day sucks. <laughs> but without further ado, we're gonna get right into it. So I'm gonna show you without the weights, then I'm gonna show you with the weights. So from in front, since I'm already facing this way, you're gonna stand with your, with your feet, you can have your feet pretty close within your shoulders, okay? Within your shoulders, something that's comfortable, okay? You can have your toes pointed straight, and if that's, don't feel like that's comfortable to you, anger your feet, anger your feet out just a little bit on each side like this, okay? And then from here, from here, you'll have the weights in your hand, right? You put them right in front of you. You wanna keep the weights close to your legs. You're gonna hinge, in the hips and when you come up you're going to it's like you're bringing your hips forward so when i go down i'm hinging hinging in the hips so it should look like this and then i'm going to come up and the way the breathing goes i always say guys easy part you breathe in the part where you use the most force you breathe out so right here we're breathing in on the way down and breathing out on the way up Right there, okay? Now I'm gonna show you with the weights. And I'm gonna turn to this angle right here. So you really can see what I'm doing. So, slight bend in the knee, feet within the shoulders. I can anchor my feet if I need to, if that's a little bit more comfortable, okay? All right, we're gonna bring the weights right here, keeping them close to the leg throughout the entire process of going down and coming back up. I'm hinging at the hips. I'm hinging at the hips. So I'm just not going down like this. No, I'm hinging at the hips. That's gonna help protect my back, specifically my lower back. I wanna keep that back straight, okay? I'm also, when I come up, squeezing the glutes. Remember, we're doing leg workouts, so we're squeezing the glutes, and what also we're doing? Keeping that core tight, okay? Keeping that core tight, okay? So, right here, core is tight. And I'm breathing in on the way down. And then I'm breathing out on the way up just like that and no I'm not coming all the way up and locking my knees and I'm not coming all the way up and thrusting forward the reason why is because I want to keep tension in my uh, glutes as much as possible so again we right here breathe in keeping that back straight I'm hinging at the hips hinging at the hips It's really important to do this workout properly. So I would suggest starting with no weight or light weight at first before you go heavy because this is one of those workouts where you want to go heavy. But start off light first, get the form down right, okay? Okay, so again, I'm gonna do it without the weights. We right here, look, hinging, hinge, hinge. Look at the difference, I'm not just doing this. I'm not doing this, I'm hinging at the hips. Just like this. Keeping that arm down, keeping it close to my leg. I'm trying not to bend the knees too much because I want to keep the tension in my glutes and also in my hamstrings, right? Then I'm coming back up. When I'm squeezing those glutes, I'm squeezing them. Till I get about right here because I don't want to thrust and come all the way up. I don't want to lock my knees out, right? And you can, you can start off slow to get the form, and you could go a little bit fast. It's really whatever you want to do, you know, it's, a, it's really up to you. So you can go at this pace and then come up. Or you can, you can, uh, you know, go down faster and come up a little faster. So you can go down. But I will only recommend going faster if you have the form down already. I'm really expressing form on this because if you don't do this right, you can really create some pain in your back. 
Now, I will say this. You may feel tension in your lower back. That's fine. As long as you're doing it with proper form, you're not going to hurt your back, okay? Because this does uh, add, this does work out that lower back a little bit, okay? So don't be scared, but just be cautious, okay? So again, put the weights in my hand, and I'm right here. Breathe in, uh, well, knees bent, right? Weights right here close to my legs, okay? Core tight, I'm going down, I breathe in. Come past the knees. I say wrist past the knees, you go a little bit lower if you can do it, if you're flexible enough, and then come up, okay? Remember, I, I say, what I say is try to get your wrist past your knee. That's where you wanna be. So right here, hinging at the hips. Wrist past knee, come up. Go back down. Come up, and when you come up, you're breathing out and squeezing those glutes. Go back down. Also, my weight, it's staying on my heels and my feet, okay? And remember, I'm not trying to bend my knee too much because I want to keep the tension in my hamstring and in my glutes. Because the moment you, what you don't want to do is this right here. You don't want to be doing that. Sometimes that's what happens. A lot of people, they'll start right like this, and then they'll be like, because they're trying to go down, they feel that the stretch in their hamstring, especially new people who are not used to it, you might feel a stretch in your hamstring. That's fine. You, get, you just got tension back there, that's what you want. Because the moment you, you start going down, and then you start doing this, oh, I feel a little stretch in my hamstring. Let me bend my knees a little bit. I don't, we don't want that. We're not doing squats, we don't want that. We want to keep the tension back here, okay? So once you get that slight bend in your knee, you want to try to keep that same bend. And as long as you're hinging from your hips properly, and you're bringing your hips back forward, you're good. Now, I'm gonna go over this one more time. I know this is a little long, but I really wanna express, stress the form. So we're right here, knees bent. We're hinging, hinge, hinge at the hips, okay? Keeping that back straight, hinge at the hips. So essentially what you're doing is, you're bringing your butt back, you're bringing your hips forward. You're bringing your butt back, you're bringing your hips forward, okay? So I'm hinging at the hips, Bringing that butt back, bringing my butt back, bringing my butt back, bringing my butt back. Really feel a stretch in my uh, in my uh, hams. Now, bringing my hips forward as I'm squeezing my glutes. Bringing my hips forward, bringing my hips forward. Bam. Right here, back up. Right here, back up. All right, guys. That's how to do deadlifts. Specifically, what we're doing today, Romanian deadlifts or RDLs. Please implement this workout if you haven't already. And really, when you when you new, when you first get started, uh, please, you know, pay attention to this video. Go back and watch it. I really want you to get that form down packed. If you have a mirror, you know, look in that mirror to kind of gauge yourself. But what I really want you to do is, if you have somebody who knows how to do it, who really knows how to do deadlifts for real, the right way, right? Get them to watch you because I want you to keep your head straight and not turn and looking at the mirror because you're putting a lot of pressure on your on your back. And you don't want your spine to be all twisted up here at the top while you're doing it. You want to always try to keep your spine sh as straight as possible, okay? Look guys, keep working out. Keep doing what you're supposed to do. If you're watching these videos, that means you're trying to learn you, a proper way to do a workout. And that means that you're motivated about your health and about your fitness journey. If you just getting started, if you getting back into it, no matter if you feel like, oh, I tried everything and it didn't work, I promise. If you stay consistent, if you do what you're supposed to do, if you keep working out, every meal that you get right is a step closer to your goal. Every workout that you do is a step closer to your goal. I don't care if it's 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, hour and a half, whatever. It's a step closer to your goal that you're trying to reach. Keep going, stay motivated. We got this. This is Denzel with Etc. Pack Fitness. I'm out.